Hi everyone, this is Ted Bauman, editor of The Bauman Letter, with your Friday Bauman Daily video. And now we've seen some pretty wild gyrations in the market recently, uh, and I want to talk today about a strategy that you can use to limit your losses uh, on uh, the down days. Now, uh, we know that the market has been down a lot, uh, and uh, a lot of that has been just big drops over a, a short period of time. But uh, on many days, the market is going back and forth. It's showing extreme volatility. Now, I've managed to limit my overall losses uh, on my own portfolios to about half of those experienced by the market as a whole. And I want to share today the method I'm using to do that. But before I do, I want you to be aware that this is not something for everyone. It's something that requires that you pay careful attention to what's going on in the market. Uh, and if possible, it's something that may require you to make special arrangements with your broker. But if you do, you can potentially cut your losses or offset them and potentially even make money during this crisis. And it doesn't require any option trading, any futures trading or anything like that. Now, here's what it is. Now, um, most of you know and probably have invested in exchange traded funds. Exchange traded funds are normally uh, collections of stocks that are put together by a fund issuer. Uh, for example, SPY is the most popular fund uh, that covers the S&P 500. It includes all 500 stocks in the S&P. Uh, in in, they're all in there according to their weightings in the actual S&P index. Now, it's also possible to invest in inverse ETFs. Uh, many of you probably are aware of this, but for those of you who aren't, an inverse ETF basically moves in the opposite direction to the underlying index. So for example, the S&P 500 has an uh, opposite or inverse ETF called SH. If the S&P 500 drops by 5%, SH goes up by 5%. Now they do this by using uh, derivatives like options and futures contracts uh, and various other techniques um, that individual traders can use, but which they can access through this mechanism by using ETFs. Now, the tricky thing about ETFs that uh, operate in inverse is that they're only really meant to be used for a day at a time. They are reliable for one day's trading, uh, but after that, they begin to uh, lose their uh, track, if you like, with the market as a whole, and they begin to uh, drift away from the one-to-one -one relationship. And the worst possible thing that can happen is that you buy an inverse and the market turns uh, and it wipes out your gains. So for the most part, inverse ETFs are something that you buy at the beginning of trading and sell at the close of trading. Now, inverse ETFs can also be leveraged. Uh, and this is the kind of ETF that I've been using to limit my losses during this really catastrophic period in the stock markets. A leveraged ETF can either give you twice or three times the inverse of the movement of the underlying index. So for example, if the Dow goes down by 5%, uh, a double inverse will go up by 10%. A triple inverse will go up by 15%. So overall, inverse ETFs can give you uh, really powerful gains on a day when the market is going down. But here's the problem. If you let them ride, if you let them go by more than a day, besides losing that one-to-one -one connection with the market, you also run the risk of having them blow up on you. If the market turns suddenly, for example, as it did this morning on Thursday, as I'm recording, where all of a sudden markets are up in response to the stimulus announcements of the US government and the European Union, then the danger is that you can have everything that you've gained wiped out. So what I've been doing is buying these uh, instruments on the morning of a day's trade and selling them usually in mid-afternoon because there tends to be a lot of selling of these instruments in late afternoon. Now, what I've noticed with inverse ETFs is that most of the trading tends to happen pre-market. Pre-market trading is something that typically starts at around 7 uh, before the markets open at 9.30. And uh, a lot of traders who have access to pre-market trading are able to pile in and buy these instruments or sell them before the market actually opens. So what I've found is that if you wait until the market opens and buy or sell them at that point, uh, your gains or losses will likely be much smaller than they would be if you were able to access the pre-market. 
Now, uh, a lot of brokerages allow you to do pre-market trading, which is called extended hours trading. Uh, my broker, for example, uh, lets me do it. All I had to do was call them. Uh, they had to, they asked me a few questions and I answered and I said, yes, I know what I'm doing. Uh, and usually they will allow you to do it. Now, not all brokers will, but the critical thing is that because most of the price action on any given day, about 85 to 90% of the price action happens pre-market, this is something that you want to try to do. Uh, ideally, you want to get up, you want to look at what the inverse ETF is doing at the beginning of pre-market trading, something which you can find on most financial websites, uh, and then make your decision as to whether you want to buy or not. Whatever you do, if you choose to use inverse ETFs to protect your portfolio, in other words, to balance it, uh, to try to um, offset your losses by making some gains on inverses, do not forget about these instruments. Don't buy them and walk away. You could end up losing a great deal of money. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I understand. Um, but it is a good strategy in uh, these emergency situations, especially if you're stuck at home and have time on your hands. Uh, it's something that you can do to offset your losses. Remember, uh, it's a risky strategy, but uh, this is a strategy that I've used myself. And if you're prepared to do it, uh, you can potentially gain the same benefits I have. Again, I've managed to limit my losses uh, in this current market turmoil uh, to less than half of the market as a whole. Uh, obviously, some of that has to do with having made uh, targeted investments and holding hedges like gold, but inverse ETFs have helped. So uh, that's my message for you today. Uh, remember, it's going to take a few uh, adjustments like calling your broker to get access to pre-market extended hours trading, but it could well be worth it. Anyway, this is Ted Bauman signing off. Uh, and don't forget, uh, the Bauman Letter right now is preparing uh, an important release on the bear market and how to survive the bear market. If you're not already a subscriber to the Bauman Letter, this is a very, very good time to consider doing so. Uh, our performance, particularly in our endless income portfolio, uh, sorry, portfolio, has been outstanding during this downturn. Uh, we've emphasized uh, stocks that pay dividends, and those stocks have held up extremely well. Uh, and right now is a great time to be buying those kinds of companies at a discount to lock in higher future dividend yields. So if you're not already a Bauman Letter subscriber, please consider clicking on the link below and uh, subscribing. Anyway, I'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.